Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial of WP Grid. The tutorial is sponsored by Variation Searches for WooCommerce plugin by Imran Ahmed. At the time of my recording, it had more than 200,000 active installations and plenty of 5 stars rating. The plugin converts WooCommerce Variation Select drop down into color, image, button, and radio swatches in the product page and shop page. Find the plugin download link in the description box. To download more WooCommerce plugin, please visit store page. Today, I'm going to show you how to create variable product in Savoy WooCommerce theme. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Before creating a variable product, first you need to create product attributes and its variations globally. From the left sidebar, navigate to attributes from products. Now you are on the global attribute page. From here, you can create any number of attributes you want. To create your desired product attribute, give your desired name here. For demonstration purposes, I have given the attribute name as color. After specifying your desired attribute name, you can leave slug and Enable archives and default sort order as it is because all these are optional. Save it by clicking on the add attribute button. You'll notice a new color attribute is already created. In the same process, I am going to add three more attributes. So all of my attributes are successfully created. So it's time to create the variations for all attributes. First, I will create variations for color attribute. From color attribute, click on configure terms to navigate the variation list page. In this page, you can add as many number of variations as you want for your selected attribute. I'll add red, green and blue variations for my color attribute. First, I will fill the name field as red and click on add new color button. I will repeat the same process to add green and blue variations. So now, color attributes variations are created. I will follow the same process to create variations for the rest of the attributes. So I have created the variation for made in, pattern, and size attribute. Now it's time to link the newly created attributes with the product. To create a variable product, navigate to add new from products. Fill the product name field with your desired title and add some description as well. Select variable product from product data drop down. From attributes, select newly created attribute one by one from custom product attribute drop down and add them. Here select all button will add the entire attribute at once whereas select none will do the opposite. So for all the attributes, I am going to choose select all and give a check mark on used for variations and click on save attributes button. Now navigate to variations and select create variations from all attributes. Click on expand to show the settings of all the variations. Price is the mandatory field for each variation but others are optional. So make sure price is set in all the variations. Otherwise variation will not show up in the product front end. Now add featured images by pressing on the image icon for each variation. It will appear after the selection of corresponding variations in the product front end. So I have added images for all the variations one by one. Now you need to set a product image. This image will appear when no variation is selected. Once you finish doing all these things, click on the publish button. Click on the link to go to the product page. So our variable product has successfully been published. If you select a variation of a product, you will notice each time variation price and images are also changing with it. Variation selection drop down requires some extra click for the visitors to check available variation of a product. To solve this hassle, you can turn the variation selection drop down into buttons. To do so, navigate to add new from plugins. Now search for variation so for WooCommerce plugin. Now install it. After completing the installation, activate it by clicking on the activate button. Now again go to the product page. Now you can notice variation selection drop down is converted into buttons. But you can see color attribute are showing only the name of the colors but not the colors in real. Same goes for pattern attribute. It's not showing any images for pen, shirt and shoe variation. With the help of variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin, you can also fix these issues. To do so, navigate to attributes from products. Now for color attribute, click on edit. Select the type of the color for color attribute i will select colored type and click on update button in the same process i will edit rest of the attributes for made in attribute i will select radio type for pattern attribute i will select image type and finally for size attribute i will select button type now we need to set the colors and images for color and pattern attribute to do so click on configure terms for color attribute click on edit for blue variation select the color as blue and update it follow the same process to set the colors for green and red variations so the colors for all variations are set. In the same process, I will set the images for the variations of pattern attribute. First, I will set the image for pant variation and update it. Then I will set the image for shirt variation and finally for shoe variation. So the images for all the variations of pattern attribute are set as well. Now again, go to the product page. You can see only buttons are successfully converted into colors, radios and images. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and stay connected. If you have any query, please write down in the comment section. Thank you. Thank you.